Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Asperia, where last episode, continuing to puzzle through Zelda, we've managed to find the Maristella that Patty was looking for and requiring a red orb to open the next way through. We found it and forced our way through Alexei's last guards, with Sodia and Witcher then joining up, showing that the Empire had finally got here. We reached Alexei himself, as finally we do battle. This world and so the battle begins. Well, first of all, of course, before anything happens, a magic lens needs to be thrown. Level 54, Alexei. Quite a bit stronger than us, that's for sure. A ton of HP. Will he end up with one of those ridiculous shields? That was a nice Reborn. weapon. Ow, I'm being ballsed! I think I might switch weapon, by the way. I think this is a good time for it, don't you? Right then. Let's get a bit more physical attack on us, shall we? Yep, he hurts. You are foolish to rebel against your destiny. I've chosen my own destiny to fight you. Do you believe your milk toast ideas can bring lasting change to the world? Milk toast? I swore to my friends that we would try. Not a single one of you confessed me. You've chosen the wrong path. We finish this now. Alright, first strike. Oh, that's 50k of his HP down in no time. The real problem comes when he goes insane. When he tries to hit me with something, is when we really gotta worry. Grand Charity missed. Here's our problem. Leg it. Nightingale. Nightingale would be good. We don't know what he's going to pull out the bag. I'm holding guard. Well, someone managed to get out of range, but that can wipe me. Lush. Maybe I should be uh, trying to lock him down during that, but it's hard to lock someone down during that kind of a period. Hmm. He had a weakness moment then, so it looked like I could hit him at that point. I just need to buy a Stelis some time at this point. Damn it, you're that even hurts still. Dodged out of it. So what I need to do is be at least as high HP as possible at any one time. Or in an over limit myself. Can't even get hits on him at the moment. He's just pushing me. Why are you so close, people? Get the hell away from me, ASAP. Okay, I have some kind of horrible thing on me. That looks like it might kill me. This is what I worried about. Estelle going down. But only Estelle got hit. Which means we can get her up in a split second. Oh, you got Guardian Field too? Like an ice kind of Guardian Field? At least I put you down your ass for a little bit. I'll have a little bit of time to fight you back, won't I? Oh, come on, let me hit you. I hit you! I hit you with that as well. Didn't get my special off at all. I obviously have to hit the last hit of it. Which is a shame now that we've used that. So many things are breaking him on at this point.
I was about to say, I need some help here. Flint, get on him. Trying to use a magic shield, are you? I need you to assist as much as possible, Flint. On the melee side of things. More than anything else. But I'm going to have to use a little bit of gel here. That blade roll is pretty good. Ah! 100,000 down. That's a normal annoying ability. Here we go again. I'm dead. The question is, is everyone else dead? It's going to hit Estelle as well. Okay. That's fine. I was dead as soon as he put the thing on me as well. There we go. Yeah, I had to resurrect into stabbing you in the face. I need Nightingale! Okay, I got first aid, that's fine. Nice one, Flim. He still keeps healing himself up a lot as well, by the look of it. Can you leave her alone, please? That heals him so much when he does that. Oh, I just knocked you out by accident. No, I got hit. Just when I was getting tons of damage in. But he keeps healing it up. Really need that Nightingale then. It's problem again. Alright, who's he going for this time? Oh, I did use it. Everyone's in range. This is bad. This actually could wipe out everyone? No. Still people are alive. Need to put him down on his ass for a bit here. Alright, Stell's out of mana. Which sucks. And if he keeps using Guardian Fields, that sucks too. I feel like I'm stuck here a little bit. I need HP. Man, I hit the thing. I'm not actually taking his HP down at all. He just keeps healing himself. Every time I get a fatal strike, he's knocking it away. This is not good. I can't hit this at all. I need more attack, basically. Alright, I've got this thing on me again. This could take a little bit. Someone needs to do a re Someone always needs to do a lot of stuff. I have got a week on me. Week on me now. Let's cut my HP. Even if I want to fight, I can't really get in there to fight. Oh, this is nasty. Like I need to use a weak bottle on him as well. On her as well. Even and then she might not even survive the attack no matter what. She has to use it on herself at this point. 
Did he hit me? Oh my god, he killed us. How are we still alive? Um, this is not going well. I feel like I should throw a treat first. And then a life bottle. I c I'm stuck. We we've actually lowered his HP a bit, and that's why he's healing every time. Even if I'm getting damage in, whenever he does this. That's it. I've had enough. How did I miss that? Well, I did damage to him, sure, but... <laughs> Spamming destruction field does kind of work, I guess. Ah! How do I survive this? He's just gonna constantly keep healing now. It's not working out for me at all. As long as I can survive this special, I feel like we can make it, right? The problem is being far enough away to make sure that one person, no matter what, will survive it. Oh, he's lost his thing! He didn't use it because he was too busy doing other things. This is the time! You are <sighs> finished. I think that's enough for now. Now the law will give you your due punishment. Face judgment and pay for your crimes, Alexei. Thankfully he didn't use it at that moment. And we got him. Little by little, we chipped him down. And he even cooked a vegetable stir fry. As we bring Alexa's reign of terror to an end. Or have we? Spring of wisdom, a fairy ring. And everyone leveling up. Super chain fallen. Now what? You. It's over, Alexei. Is this the top of Zauda? Is that the core? It's so big! <gasps> you continued the analysis this whole time? We will witness together the might of Zaude. No! You fool! Yuri, look out!
Chair? No. This catastrophe has always waited there. Wh what do you mean? The Autophagos was never eliminated. It was just sealed off far from sight. Yes. And now it has returned to spread the ruin it once rained down upon the ancients. And to think. I caused it all! The ultimate irony! <laughs> you mean Zauda had been holding it back this entire time? Look out! We were never more than worms writhing before an approaching storm! Time has come, our death draws near. No one can escape its doom! <laughs> Shut up already, you bastard! <laughs> Autophagos disappeared into the void. Yeah, well, guess they didn't really say they destroyed that thing. They just went off and left this piece of crap remnant behind. Uh, Flynn? So brings an end to Act Two. <laughs> I don't remember that happening in the original game. Maybe my memory's really yeah, my problem memory is probably on the really duff side, or maybe they changed it. I don't know. <laughs> probably it's the same. It's cut anime cutscenes after all. Well, let's save our progress and see what happens next. As Yuri takes a dive from a very high point into a very chilly ocean. That was always there. Well, then my memory. <laughs> As I said, it's been a it's been a while that I haven't really been knowing what the story points are anymore. <laughs> End save? Sure thing. What happens next? My room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. Huh? The child of the full moon. The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the Autophagus away, saving the world. <laughs> you have awakened. Duke. So it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. So, the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the Children of the Full Moon? 
humans brought forth the autophagos and led it. Consider it atonement. The few remaining children of the full moon, together with the Entelechea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos, for it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelechea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumares. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! And so we've handed over the Dane Nomos. Not so much handed over as it was straight taken. Well, we're awake, we're alive, so what more can we really hope for, you know? What's going on outside? Does anyone know I'm here? And why is the place so quiet? Anyone? Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, hold on a sec! Yuri! It's really you! Right? You're not a ghost or something! Oh good, you have a shadow! Yeah, I'm living! And yeah, that hurts! Thank goodness! I'm so happy! Repeat just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia, too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. And they're still like that? Supposedly, it's because of Zauda. They went to make sure the guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are gonna be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. So Yuri earned the survivor title. 
I'd like to meet with Sodia again at this point in time, because I imagine that Flynn's major guilt comes that his underling did the stabbing. I'm waiting for that moment. We reunite with Estelle and Rapide. But how much time has passed? Seems like it's been a bit. Alright, so we are healed. We are ready to go. Everyone is here, thankfully. And alive is more to the point. Let's put on the weapon we were learning yet again and check out our skin after Zaud. Estelle, Rapide, sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zauda. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. <laughs> the air crisis, Duke, the Autophagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. The also thing to notice here is the ancient technology that sealed the Autophagos all that time ago was also broken. <laughs> That doesn't help, does it? Can't just reseal it up again. It broke! Alright, where am I going now? No, lets me in the guest room. Why can't I go in the guest room? I know one thing I'd really like at this point in time, and that's Baul. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Autophagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life? For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you. Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So... You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! So long, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Just as I thought. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go! Arrest that man! They like the chase. They like the chase. <sighs> this hill is pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri! Thank the Seven Seas! I knew you were still alive! Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Oh! Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? 
Rita's and Ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! Well, we've reunited with Judith and Patty. And we have our wonderful air baul once again. Alright, it seems that he wants us to go to Aspio then, to pick up Rita. But now look at this beautiful thing that we have in the sky. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Tentacles stretching across the Adafagos. But what's it actually going to do? Seeing the Adafagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah. To think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Yes, it is true. Everything with tentacles is definitely, definitely Cthulhu. Or anime. <laughs> it was Aspia who told us to go, right? I don't even know anymore. I had so much happen after all. And I can't even remember where I'm going when it's just said to me. The man in black returns. Yuri is said to have made it off to Aspio. Let's go get Rita back. As it seems we're reuniting the band. Eureka! Oh, Rita! Yuri is... We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Guess that was a little bit of a Usain Bolt eat your heart out moment. She liked it. I wish we could always run at that speed. <sighs> Me, I'm gonna look at your drawers. Hmm. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable, non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita. What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. I 
It's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! As Rita rejoins the party, with all her brain knowledge in tow. Right! Things are looking up. Glad Yuri's safe, the women. <laughs> okay then, the women. Tell me why you're glad that Yuri's safe. Ooh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Ha Are you happy? <sighs> yes. Yes, Rita is. You saw her blush when she saw Yuri again. I mean, how can you not fall for a guy as smooth as Yuri? With his chest rippling out into your eyes at all times. She get done for harassment. Obviously. Alright, well from there then, let's pass our tentacle friend. In the sky, the Adafagos lies. Ooh, it's lovely. Pass the ghost ship, which has reappeared there. Uh, where am I going? Where's Dark Ghost again? Uh, that way. Well, that is where we are heading. Tentacles look cooler at night. Now you can see the stars and everything. Well then, Dargos it is. I always tell myself I should land over the other side rather than this side. But still, still we land that one. Right, look at that. Monsters are restless. I wonder if it's because of the monster in the sky. Ah, so there's a monster effect as well going on with the Adafagos up on high. Well, if we're going to find them both, you can probably bet they're up in Guild HQ. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was... the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? No! Yuri! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you, but I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius's Apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. Why are you after him? As Carol rejoins the party, Raven is off doing that, so let's go straight for Guild HQ. 
and wait it out. This raven has a little bit of a heart to heart there, eh? The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That apatheia belongs to whoever succeeds the Dawn. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zoth. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Don got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Don's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you! Wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated Air Crenay that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. 
All right, we've re-obtained the Apophea, the Ciano Cell Crystal, as the plan starts to come together. And Harry actually acted of his own volition, which is great. A bit of brain goes a long way, or a little bit of willingness. He just needs... Uh, it's basically Yuri's conversation was directed at Harry. Not just everyone, but mainly at Harry, to try and just be a bit more like his grand puppy. Step up a little bit. Well, I'm guessing the men are glad Yuri's safe. I know Carol is. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Aw, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. Aw, he's not gonna give her... He's not gonna give Yuri away to pay, that's for sure. Right! So this leaves us a good bit for the end of the session, in a sense, because... I should, hopefully. We'll see. Hi there! Hey, good to see you. Looking for more work? Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Well, there seems to be something here, but that's not what I wanted. Unfortunately, I don't have any jobs for you right now. Yeah. Hmm. I guess sometimes there's just not enough work to go around. Yeah, we can't always count on there being jobs for us to do. We can always try again later. Aggressive park. Oof. I didn't want jobs in that sense. I want to see if I could do the mini game. Oh, you came again? Can I ask you help with some things around the tavern? Ah, it's you I'm after. Oh, no, what are these people? Oh, Mimi, did you just get back? That's right, I have some free time again, so I thought I'd come and help out. What's this idea about new uniformed employees helping you with work around here? Calm down, Mimi, I didn't know when you'd come back, so I was just getting them to help out until you did. No, I haven't missed it, have I? It's not like we've been trying to take your job or anything. You're gonna have to get some mad. There's no need to argue, right? Let's be friends. No way, we need to settle this now. Once that girl gets going, she's deaf to reason. Alright, okay then. We'll have a competition to see who's the better server. Put on your uniforms. I didn't have the uniforms yet. Have someone else try. Let's send Carol. Oh, so some customers are arriving. Is it just the normal minigame again? Not anything extra. Well, I should be fine. He says. Okay, ready to order. Tomato soup, one. And tortoise stew, one. That's it. Tomato soup. Tortoise stew. Order. Job done there. What took so long? I got it done, you git. Tortoise stew, one. And spicy shrimp, one. Tortoise stew, spicy shrimp. Should be good there. Uh, I can't see you because there's too many things in the way. Right, spaghetti and meatballs, one. And a tortoise stew. It's very popular at the moment. Spaghetti and meatballs, tortoise stew. Order away. Job done. And last guy. Mandragoza, one. And an earth spirit parfait, one. Mandragoza, earth spirit parfait. Life is done. Job, if I can get round, done. I wonder if that woman's going to be upset about this. Thank you. Obtain 8,800 gold. I won't try level 2. We'll just leave it at that. See what the lady says. <laughs> is that all you've got? Come back when you can give me a real challenge. Oh, there's some more challenge on that, is there? More challenge there, is there? And so we cut to after the stream where an order will be delivered as I've taken on the challenge of getting everyone's costumes unlocked as this person is extremely unhappy on level 3 that they're waiting for their order as I speak. So let's give it to him. Here we are. And we'll see what happens with that person who challenged us. Thank you. We obtained 12,800 gold. Phew, I want my butt off. Good job, Carol. You sure do work hard for a kid. For a kid? What's that supposed to mean? Cal, it was a compliment. Please come back and help out again sometime. I've even made a special uniform for you. Really? Sweet! Thank you! I'll try them right now! I look like a lunch lady. There's nothing cuter than a kid wearing an apron. Is there not? Has Carol earned the lunch lady title? There is still, of course, three more titles to earn, so we'll get right on that. But I'm wondering if 
this resolves this lady here. I... I lost. This competition doesn't really mean anything anyway. That's right, it doesn't matter to the customers either. I feel so pathetic. But you know, it's not like we're here every day working. Right? They're really just here to help out when we need it, nothing else. But we can't both be working you at the same time, can we? That's not a problem. We've had more customers recently, so we have a bit more money to spare for extra staff. So you mean I can work here? Right, from now on, you'll be working together with them. I understand. I'll do my best. I'm sorry, I guess I got a little prideful back there. I hope you won't hold it against me. Don't worry about it, Missy. I can't wait to work next to a pretty little thing like yourself. Okay then, Raven. Well, that's Carol's one done, with a skit to go with it. Alright, time to serve up some orders. Serve up some orders? Uh, it's just that wearing this puts me in the mood to be serving customers. You know, those clothes make you look a little more macho than usual, kid. Really? <laughs> you think so? So, I guess that means Carol will be cooking dinner tonight. Wait, you were supposed to cook tonight, Raven? Hold on, I mean, hey! You heard the man, Carol. Suitably tricked. Right, three more to go, so let's go to the end of Rita's line. So with Rita's level 3 now finally complete, things are starting to get devilish with so many people forgetting what they're ordering and ordering an absolute crazy amount. And this is why we're doing it with the power of editing. Phew, well that about does it. Amazing, you handled so many customs with such finesse. Oh, she's a genius mage after all. I could really use some employees who know how to go with the flow. How about you work for me full time? You've got to be joking, I'll pass. Oh really? Well, please let me know if you change your mind. Rita, that's great. Now you have a place to go if that whole blaster research thing doesn't work out. I'd like you to come and help out again sometime, so I've made you a uniform. Please wear it, won't you? Right now? Sure, throw it on and see how it fits. Why has he got cat ears? Hmm, very nice. With a personality like yours and cute cat ears like that, you'll be a hit. What do you mean I'll be a hit? A hit with the customers, of course. You look perfect. I can't wait to see you working in that outfit. Okay. Huh. <laughs> meow. Uh, did you say something? Who meow? Huh? I uh didn't say anything. And so Rita earns the cat girl waitress title as my coffers, my monetary supply begins to grow. Well, it's all about the ears, they say, so let's see the skit too. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no, that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri, why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. The ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? Is are the problem. Well, with that, we move on to our next job. Helping in the restaurant once again, we send Judith around the tables. And so now, Judith is complete, and we give off such a professional air when we work. Yes, we do. Oh, really? I was just acting the way I normally do. It must be because Judy is always so relaxed. You're great. Really, just great. How'd you like to work here? Sorry, I'll pass. I've got things I need to do. I don't mind helping every now and then, though. Especially for the money they give. Ah, oh, rejected. Oh well, I thought you might say that. But since you said you don't mind helping on occasion, I'd like to give you this uniform. Oh, thank you. I'll try it on right now. You look good no matter what you wear, Judy. Wow, it looks great. Your body complements the outfit quite nicely. It's a little tight in the chest area. It looks like your curves were even beyond what I imagined. I'm a little jealous. As Judith earns the glamorous maid's title. A little bit too much, was it? Well, now that service skit is ours to view. Well, what do you think? Whoa! And just what are you staring at? Uh, I, I was just thinking that if Judith was a waitress somewhere, I'd go there every single day. Ah, Carol, taken by the charms of an older woman. Of course, I'd do the same thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I wonder if I should show a little more. You know. <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh, God, yes! Judith, I think that's enough. I can't stand seeing Raven like this for much longer. Poor Raven. Conked out, zonked out at just the thought. 
Speaking of poor Raven, it's his turn next. And so with our final order looming for Raven and someone behind me seems to be saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, jet lag. All the blooming time. I don't know what's with this crowd speech. Look how much this guy, one guy's eating. 22 chocolate cakes, 22 clam chowder, 11 polywork of alcohol, 22 tortoise stew, 23 spaghetti meatballs, and 22 tomato soups. Just for one guy and everyone in this room wants this stupid supply. I can't believe how much they're scuffing down. It's surely a city side turn them out. But finally, Raven's level 3 is complete. Man, did this take a long time getting through Raven's the hardest by far. Thank you. Obtained 16,200 gold, though. Phew, that was some tough work. Yes, it was. Good job. You helped me out quite a bit. What else would you expect? I'm the great Raven, after all. That was the first time I've seen you do any serious work in a long time. What do you mean? I'm always serious about working. Well, with as many customers as we get, there's not really any time to slack off anyway. Yeah, he didn't have any time to goof off or flirt with any cute girls. Phew, I'm beat. Yes, thank you again. Please take this new uniform as a token of my appreciation for your hard work. Eh, uh, for me? Yes, this is my best attempt at making a uniform for a male employee. Sort of a trial model. No, no, it looks great. And a present from a pretty lass, no less. I'll take it with pride. Hey, hey, not bad at all. Looks great on you. It matches your hairstyle too. A perfect fit. What's this strange warmth? Love, perhaps? Wearing this, I can feel your warm feelings of affection. You can feel the love? Yeah, it's filled with it. This handiwork is second to none. Thank you. I'll tell my father that you like it. Uh, uh, your father made this? Tell him that we could feel the love. As Raven earns the gentleman title. I'm not sure that's a gentleman's attire. We have another skit obviously appearing for this. Well, more to the point, every one of them done, we get ourselves another thing. I really can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Come on, you don't need to thank us. We got paid for it, and we even got a nice new uniforms. You sure have a sucker for pretty girls, old man. I wonder if all this work we've done would have been made the Don happy. Of course it would have. I'm sure that he would be glad that we were all helping out. I'll bet he's looking down on us all from somewhere with a big fat grin on his face. So you never ended up working at all, huh, Yuri? Yeah, I guess not. This type of work just doesn't suit me. Hey, you never know. You might turn out to be a pretty good waiter. Just once, I'd like to see what Yuri looks like waiting tables. Stare me down as hard as you want. I'm not doing it. Too bad. I'll bet you'd be pretty popular. Not every tavern can claim to have such a stubborn waiter on their staff. Where the hell can I get you? Don't know that. It's horrible. Eat this, you idiot. I don't need your money. Go home. Yeah, I think you'd be a hit. Am I really like that? You'd be surprised. I think I'll leave the waiter stuff to you guys. As Yuri's been profiled. But it's proof of the old man, this new outfit, supposedly. Wow. That looks surprisingly good on you, old man. I'm surprised you're surprised. Of course it looks great. Yeah, that sort of messy look suits you pretty well. Well, I didn't expect a naive young lady like yourself to understand an adult's subtle grace. Why would I want to understand that? So that's an adult's subtle grace, huh? Hmm? I feel like it's boosting your natural sketchiness more and more. Oh, that I understand. No, no, no. No, no, no. His natural sketchiness will come out once more, but with that done, I guess we return to the end of the Let's Play proper, or the end of this episode. So let's get back to the live Alessandri. Waiting tables is more fun than I thought it'd be. It is, isn't it? You can talk with all sorts of people and expand your perspective on the world, too. You almost be so smart. How come I'm the only one who gets yelled at for messing up orders? Oh, that must be because they like you so much. Yeah, haven't you ever heard that the greatest hate springs from the greatest love? What sort of crappy love is that? Forgetting Carol for the moment. Why don't you ever wait tables, Yuri? Huh? It's annoying. I don't want to do it. Sounds like you just don't know the meaning of fun, kid. You turn down a chance to make nice with a bunch of cute female customers? Who wants to get friendly with an old pervert anyway? Wow, well, 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 it's a good friendly guy, that's all. Alright, let's just check one more little thing before we end, because you don't want to run into cutscenes and knowing. Let's put it that way. Let's check if I can at least make it to the shop. If I can make it to the shop, we're all good. No more cutscenes, but it did sound like it wanted us to get out of damn dress, to be honest. We'll make it to the shop just fine. Life is good. This is like the first session in ages that I've got to a point 
where I can do stuff. There's even a guy there with a quest. It looks all good. Finally, I can do stuff. Though maybe not out in the world, but to be honest, it's just here I really need to do it. This is what I was after. This place here. Sorting this out. And the inn is fine as well, if I need to get myself a save. So with that, we bid you farewell. Adieu! As yet again, we finish another session of Tales of Esperia. But there's more, as now Act 2 is finished, and Act 3 awaits us. Solving the problem, friending the world, the Adafagos looms above. I'll see you guys next time for more. Or will I just do this one skit before I say it? It seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. And I will say, bye-bye. And thank you for the cheers. I'll see you guys around next time.